Hey, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com, and a topic I want to cover today that uh, is obviously uh, the bane of many, many professional trainers out there, which I like to refer to as uh, stick to the program, stupid. Um, one of the biggest aggravations for professional coaches, uh, people who you know spend their whole life um, understanding uh, exercise physiology, exercise training, designing programs is uh, people who will take their information and then modify it um, and then claim it doesn't work. I.e. somebody like uh, Wendler's 531 or Charles Staley's information or Charles Poliquin's information or my information or uh, somebody like Coach uh, Sullivan, uh, one of the best coaches you haven't heard of probably but regardless and you design these programs and then someone who really has no background for it will modify it for themselves uh, and then you'll hear them say well, it didn't work for me I didn't like it I didn't make any progress from it and that is very annoying to be honest with you um, you know it might seem like a simple thing but honestly understanding um, understanding exercise phys or ex exercise programming and volume and loading uh, and making that work for individuals who are trying to get specific uh, effects from their training is actually not that simple. If it was, you know, why bother taking somebody else's program? If it's just a matter of, you know, going to the gym and doing whatever you feel like doing and making progress, uh, then, you know, that's what people should do. But as you can see in the gym, uh, most people look exactly the same week in and year in and month out uh, and really don't change. And that's because uh, actually professionally designing good quality effective programs are not as simple as it sounds and so the best thing you can do for yourself when you're picking a program honestly is stick to it stick to it exactly as it's written and uh, peeve number two is stick to it long enough for it to actually do something you, again you'll find people uh, I'll talk to somebody and they'll say you know I tried um, just, again as an example uh, I tried uh, Wendler's 531 and it didn't do anything for me and I'll say well how long were you on it oh two weeks um, you get that all the time and again you'll then also may find they weren't even doing the program because they modified it so heavily f that it wasn't even the program anymore now again not all programs work for all people for sure and this is why the best thing you can do for yourself when you're when you're using a program is use it exactly as written stick to it long enough to assess whether it actually works for you and then if it doesn't you don't feel it's appropriate for you then you move on to something else that's fine but as soon as you modify it you're not doing that program anymore and if you don't actually stick to it as written long enough, you can't really even assess if that program was effective for you or not. And I will tell you, uh, that is one of the biggest peeves with every professional trainer out there that I know because, uh, again, if it, is as, if it was as simple as some people think it may be, uh, they wouldn't need, you wouldn't have professional coaches uh, such as the Wendlers and the Poliquins and the Charles Staley's and uh, what have you of the world. And... Uh, Exercise science uh, actually is getting more and more detailed, and there's more and more to know than ever, just like there is for nutrition. Now, I have to say, I mean, a lot of times people uh, do make progress in spite of how they train. They go in and do pretty much everything wrong, uh, choose the wrong exercises, don't pay any attention to loading variables, so on and so on, and, and make some progress. But that progress usually is short-lived, uh, and of course, um, genetics plays a, a, a great role. There again, I've known some people who did all, virtually everything wrong and still made progress uh, because of their phenomenal genetics. And I do go into that in some, uh, some earlier uh, videos discussing genetics. And there are some people, of course, whose genetics are so bad they can do almost everything right and make pretty minimal progress. But most people, the vast majority of people, of course, fall in the middle. That is, they have good enough genetics that if they do everything right, they make pretty good, solid, consistent progress. And if you're you're watching this are most likely one of those people that's how you're going to make your progress but uh, again I will tell you to to defend the uh, coaches out there of the world uh, that is a major peeve uh, for most of the decent coaches that I know and I actually learned that lesson the hard way uh, to give you sort of a real world example many years ago when I was doing uh, pre-contest preparation with national level bodybuilders pro level bodybuilders this is back in the 90s um, I had a, you know, had a pretty good tracker getting people into really good shape. I worked with one person uh, who was a very high level guy and you know it just didn't, it didn't work out. He just really didn't look, come show day, didn't look that good and I, it was always a bit of a, of a mystery. Um, you know again not everything you do always works for everybody 100% of the time. That's just life. But 
it was a bit of a mystery to me. And uh, oh, about a year later or so, uh, I bumped into, into his ex-wife at a show who said, you know, I always wanted to tell you, but I couldn't tell you. So recently being the ex, that, you know, he only followed about half of what you told him. And the rest of it, he just kind of modified as he wanted to, and or he took advice from other people and changed things you told him to. Uh, and that's, you know, why he looked as he did. And, you know, that really hit me back then, all those years ago, that um, people aren't always going to listen to what you tell them to do. And not only that, they're not going to tell you when they don't follow what you do. And then, worse than that, when it doesn't work out, they're going to blame it on you. Uh, and I've got to admit that was one of a variety of reasons why I stopped uh, doing the uh, pre-contest prep work, nutrition, training, whatever, for high-level bodybuilders, among other reasons. So I hope this info helps. If it does, uh, you'll definitely want to uh, subscribe. Uh, you see my channel is uh, maybe a little different from others because I tend to bring the solid science and an awful lot of experience in this industry um, to my videos. Hit the likes and all that, and I'll see you all on the brink zone.